The whole city's a mess. The guard is completely overwhelmed. I hate to ask, but could you see if Private Quinn on Firecat Alley needs help? This street is ablaze, wizard, and not in the way it's always ablaze. It's been completely consumed by anger and hostility and violence. The Fire Elves have gone insane. A gaggle of them even broke down the gate to the dark cave. Now the undead have spilled out into the street. I can't hold all these roving mobs of mayhem at bay alone. Please, wizard, can you drive the haunted minions back? Keep to this corner of the street, but we're not going back in the dark cave. It's spooky in there. The undead have promised not to venture any farther. It's not ideal, but after everything else that's happened here, I call that a win. It all started when the Fire Elves were rehearsing the song Recollection from Fire Cats, the musical. Everything was going fine, pitchy soprano solo aside, when one of the fire elves suddenly shot a tiny arrow at me. Then another elf joined in. Then another. The animosity spread like wildfire. Now even the lawn decorations have risen up and gone all stabby. A wizard named Lizzo Firespitter was coaching the elves on singing before the trouble started. I saw them attack her. I wanted to help, but, uh, uh, I simply had to secure this position. Now I'm the only thing standing between all this chaos and Old Town. Please, will you check on Lizzo? This is no place for a newbie like you. Wait, you're the new kid who cleaned up Unicorn Way, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here now. Some fire elves attacked me and stole my spell book. The truth hurts, but I'm literally powerless without it. Could you get my spell book back? You will? Thanks. Just try to be gentle, okay? The Fire Elves aren't evil. Someone, something, has corrupted them.
out ends of smoky days! The stale cold smell of morning! But a poor fiddle! <laughs> My spell book! Thank you! You really are as talented as they say. However, we're gonna need more than talent to help the Fire Elves. I have no idea what's causing my little friends to go cuckoo bananas like this, or how to help them. But I might know of someone who does. There's a rumor of a witch who was fired from Ravenwood that lives in hiding here on Firecat Alley. They say she turned a kid into a humongo frog. I think we can convince her to use her advanced magical prowess to help the Fire Elves. I might be too optimistic, but that's a human in me. <laughs> the wizard in me is worried she's the one who caused all this. Either way, we need to find her. Perhaps one of the other denizens knows how. I saw Shellis Gruffheart cowering in a corner at the top of the hill instead of helping me while I was running for my life earlier. Oh well, go ask Shellis if he knows where the witch lives. Leave me alone! Oh, you're a wizard? Wait, you're not two fire elves in a wizard costume, are you? No? You promise? Cause I know ice magic. Okay, I believe you, <laughs> which is good, because I don't know a lick of ice magic. So, are you here to save me, magical child? Not quite. Fair enough. What do you want, then? Do I know where the old witch is? Hmm, I'm not sure. What I am sure of is that the bedeviled fire elves stole my strongbox. My entire month's earnings are in that box, wizard. You get my strong box back. Wink, wink. And maybe I'll remember the answer to your question.
My strong box! Thank you. Now about your question. I can't say for certain she's a witch, but there's a peculiar hermit who lives down the way. She keeps her windows drawn, and there's often strange smoke billowing from her chimney. That's the best I can give you. Hope it helps. What? How dare you interrupt an old woman from her stories? Did Ambrose send you to banish me? Well, I'm not going without a fight! What's that? Corrupted fire elves? Murderous magma men? The undead have spilled from Dark Cave? They need the witch's help? First off, I'm 100% not that witch. Or any witch, for that matter. I'm an alchemist. Secondly, this sounds like a city guard job. The guard is pinned down. Ugh, typical. All right, then, I'll help. But I need to know exactly what we're dealing with here. Take this special vial and collect a sample of magma from those magma men you mentioned for me to analyze. We'll go from there. Quick. Pew! You smell like sulfur! Now, hand me the magma and I'll run a quick analysis on it. And done. Ah, looks like the root cause was a banshee's whale curse. Oh, and I recognize these melodic signatures. Bastilla Gravewind. Bastilla was the prima donna of the Fire Globe Theater decades ago. She had a bitter relationship with the Fire Elves, especially fellow actors. During a performance of Magic Fire Music, her elf co-star accidentally summoned actual fire magic, and that was the end of poor Bastilla. I'd heard that she had a thriving underworld theater career, but apparently she's decided to return with a vengeance. A Vanshee's Whale Curse works like an auditory virus. Rehearsals for that dreadful musical served as the perfect way to infect the masses. Thankfully, this particular whale seems to have no effect on humans, but we need to help the Fire Elves before their little brains melt. To reverse the curse, I'll need a Herkimer stone to record Bastilla's voice onto. Get one from the rotting fodder in Dark Cave. Take our Herkimer stone. We'll dig up another to record our sickened beats upon. 
Ah, good. This Herkimer stone should work nicely to record Bastilla's wail. I'll override whatever noise the rotting fodder had imbued it with. You'll just need to get Bastilla mad enough to let out a good shriek. Herkimer stones naturally capture the sound waves of the undead. I did a little reconnaissance while you were gone. Big surprise, Bastilla is in her old house, the Diva's Tower, down the street. Good luck! At last! I've been eagerly awaiting a review of the performance I gave for the Fire Elves. What? Are you not a fan? Well, Lalastar is. None of you wretched living creatures' opinions will matter once the Dark Master's plan is fulfilled. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs>
this malamutness, then you will be sorry. This entire wretched city will be sorry! <laughs> Did you capture Bastilla's whale? Great! What's that? She warned there's still more to Malister's sinister plan? Wait, Malister's behind this? Malister? Drake? The Death Professor? I'd heard he blew himself up with a death school after his sweet wife, Sylvia, passed. Truth be told, I'm not surprised. There was always a certain darkness about him. Sylvia was too good for that entire Drake family, if you ask me. Nonetheless, we still need to transmute Bastilla's Whale into a cure for the Fire Elves. We'll just need a few things before we can get started. Unfortunately, the alchemical transmutation will require some equipment that I'm no longer privy to. One student turns himself into a humongo frog, and everyone wants the alchemy professor run out of town. Bartleby forbid Ambrose have my back. Anyhow, I can make do with crafting equipment. Here's a list of items to borrow from Gloria Crendel in Old Town. Just, uh, don't mention my name. Hello, young wizard. How can I help you craft today? You'd like to borrow some crafting items. I suppose that's all right. Let's see your list. Hmm. One large beaker, one crucible, five aludels, and a small Athenor. Well, this is your lucky day. I just received a crate of those items. Of course, there are a few other items in the crate as well. Tell Greta she's welcome to them too. Call it an overdue parting gift. What? I can spot Greta's alchemy setup a mile away. Don't worry. Everybody knows she's been hiding on Firecat Alley. Oh, do say hello for me. <laughs> How did it go? You got everything on the list? And Gloria says hello? Oh, let's just get this done. Go set up the alchemy table over there. Ooh, that equipment is nice enough for an amateur like you to perform the transmutation. Go on, just place the Herkimer stone on the crucible. There we are. Now bring me the potion and let me check your work. Wow! A-plus work here, young one. Good work. Now for the next part of the plan. The curative intonation potion will work similarly to the initial curse, so you'll need to administer it to an influential fire elf. Alakane Swift Arrow is the most famous fire elf actor alive. Once he's cured, just explain to him that it's up to him to pass the cure on to his people. You'll find Alakane in the Fire Globe Theater. I've imbued your wand with the curative potion. Now go give Alakane a good thwacking. Fire for Riddle, the greatest magicians have something to learn. Fire for Riddle, Wizard City must burn. Fire for Riddle. <laughs>
By the hand of this gentle wizard, I am again stark raving sane. How can I ever repay you? You say only I can deliver my people from the grip of this dreadful banshee's curse? But how? I am an actor. We are the opposite of people. The cure and my voice hath entwined? Then accept the role of hero I must, and I shall deliver a performance for the ages to the streets! Well, did you fix this mess? Can I go back to my stories now? Finally, this whole ordeal has made me realize that I don't miss working with students as much as I'd previously thought. No offense. Run along then, dear. And if you would be so kind as to omit my name from your official reporting to the city guard, I'd appreciate it. Ta-ta! Great balls of fire! You're alive! When I didn't hear back from you, I just assumed... Well, I'm glad you weren't fricasseed. Did you find Lizzo? She's safe now? Whew! And a cure for the Fire Elves' madness is being administered as we speak? You're amazing! You should tell Sergeant Muldoon! And feel free to mention how I'm still bravely defending this position. If it comes up, thanks, wizard. I couldn't have done it without you. Hello again, young wizard. Do the smell of brimstone and burnt hair spell word from Firecat Alley? You helped quell an undead insurrection and cured a fire elf curse? Impressive! We're not out of the woods yet, but we're making headway. Good job on cleaning up those streets. You know, if this whole student of magic thing doesn't work out, you have a bright future as a guard. For now, though, report back to the headmaster and tell him that everything is under control. <laughs>